Okay, so we're gonna take a look at using Google uh, Meets to hold an online class. Um, and it is really the best option. If your district has uh, um, Google Apps, you know, if, you're, if you have like Google Email or, uh, you know, your district has uh, subscribed to it, um, to Google Services, so it's called G Suite, um, then it is definitely the best way to go. Okay, so uh, you can hold meetings with up to a classroom, you know, you can hold an online class with up to 100 participants and you can record uh, the meeting um, and then uh, save it for later and post it for remediation or or if a student was absent or couldn't make the meeting. So, so it's really, really, really useful. In fact, it would even be a good solution uh, if you're looking for something to record your screen or record uh, just you lecturing, um, it can do all of that as well. So, uh, so it's really a one-stop shop for, for doing everything online instruction, I would say. Um, okay, so let's go, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the way that you wanna think about a Google Meet is that you wanna think of it as a meeting room. Um, there's only one of you, okay? So you only need to set up one Google Meet and then you can just reuse the link all the time. So for example, um, this is a sample you know, schedule here. <laughs> I have a lot of period ones there, but, uh, but so basically you know, on your front page, you could have uh, links uh, to, to various classes, right? So the students, you know, the students would understand that they're in period one, period two, period three. Um, or you could put, you know, the specific classroom, but all of these would link to the same Google Meet. And then basically you would just be on that, in that same uh, virtual meeting room uh, whenever the students got there. So you can think of a one Google Meet as your virtual classroom. That's basically the idea. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead, uh, we're gonna go ahead now and, uh, and uh, start a Google Meet. So let's go ahead and open it. And your uh, if you're if you have it and you're logged into your account, it will be here on the front page of Google. Just go ahead and click on the. Um, whoops, I'm gonna switch my account here. Um, it'll be on the front page of Google, and we're just gonna go ahead and click on this uh, this uh, menu and scroll down, and you should see Meet right here. Okay, go ahead and click on it. And then we're going to go ahead and just click join or start meeting. You want something that is, um, you know, uh, obvious here. So if I'm at main high school, MHS, right? And click continue. Okay, so there we have it. So it's uh, our camera turns on and we can just go ahead and click join now right here. Okay, so once you're joined, this is the um, this is the this is the information for for people to call in with. Okay, so so basically, what you want to do at this point is you can reuse this uh, this meeting uh, information. So let's go ahead and copy it. We're going to go back to our tab with uh, with our Canvas course in it. You can I mean you can use this anywhere. I'm using Canvas uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, but you could post this anywhere on your you know. Uh, your website on uh, Google Classroom, wherever you like. Okay, so let's go ahead and just paste this in. Now, the um, the code that they didn't give, um, they didn't really call it out on there, um, is here. So this join code is just this last bit. You know, it's three characters, dash four characters, dash three characters here. Um, and you, you wanna go ahead and, um, and separate that out for the students. Um, uh, and then we're gonna take this link and we're basically just gonna link all of our classes right over to it. So we're gonna highlight our class schedule, uh, paste in the link and then insert link. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it out. Let's hit, click save. We're going to go ahead and close the tab there. Open it once, or we didn't need to open it once again and go ahead and click. Okay, and notice that we go right back to the same meeting room and we can go ahead and click join. Okay, there we are. So we're in the meeting room. 
And uh, let's take a let's take just a quick look around. Okay, so so basically at the bottom here we have meeting um, the meeting um, uh, details that we can look at. Uh, we can mute ourselves. Uh, we can leave the call, and we can also turn off the camera. Okay, we can turn on captions, and we can also present. Okay, so present is going to let you share your desktop. In addition, if we click onto more options. Uh, the really important one here is record meeting. Okay, so so let's say that we wanted to record a meeting. For example, let's say that we wanted to uh, to um, uh, share share like a textbook or something on the screen. Um, we could go ahead and um, and kind of move our our screen over here so we can look. Um, then say we had our textbook in another window. Okay, what we could do is that we could uh, first turn on record the meeting. We're going to accept. The record is going to start. Okay, so you have to wait up here for it to start. And then basically what we can do is we can, so now you're being recorded on your camera, right? So if you wanted to give a lecture and record it, you can do that. We can also go to present now. Okay, and we can choose entire screen or a particular window. I'm going to choose a particular window. Okay, so notice that uh, I'm just going to choose the uh, the um, uh, screen that I am uh, sharing the textbook in, and notice that I could you know, scroll down to the textbook. Now this could be anything. It could be a PowerPoint. It could be a Google Slides. It, you know, it can be anything. Um, so it's very, very, very useful. Then I then once I'm done with the lecture, I can stop sharing. Uh, my video comes back, and then finally I can um, when I'm finished recording. You know, if I'm done with the call or you know done done saying the things that I want to actually be recording, I can go back in and then stop recording. Okay, so, so these recordings are all automatically saved. So if we go back over to our Google Drive, uh, you'll notice that, um, that basically there's under your drive, the main, the main folder in Drive, uh, that you'll see meet recordings. And they'll basically be be saved in with these automatically generated names, and then um, and then you can just sort them. Uh, you can also rename them. So if we right click on it, we can just go rename, and we can say okay. So a, a great thing to do with these is that basically you can just leave them there. You know, uh, right click and you can go say uh, um, get get shareable link. Okay. And if you take that shareable link then, okay, let's say we have that link um, and we go in, you could go say to your uh, Canvas course or you know wherever it is that you wanna share these and we could go ahead and create uh, an archive of these, right? So we can just leave them in Google Drive. Um, Okay, so whatever that shareable link was, and then you know it might be math one plus one. Okay, so basically you can then in in you know wherever you're storing your your class, you can just link back to these, and you can create an archive of those meetings, uh, which is really useful for students, especially you know it kind of almost flips your classroom internally because then you know, the student that doesn't remember what you said can just literally just go straight back and, and review what it was that you were saying during the lecture. Okay, so let's look at another ish, another uh, another part of this. So that's like, that's your kind of, in, yeah, how you're gonna be instructing using it. Um, let's look at a couple of issues while you're actually running the meeting. So in addition to teaching, you're now running an online meeting, right? So so we have a couple things for that. So, so the first thing is that we can use this chat window. So as students come on, uh, they can, rather than them talking over, so rather than having different people presenting, that's gonna get very unwieldy very quickly, right? So if you have 40 people uh, in an online meeting, uh, at least one of them is going to be playing some music on their, uh, on their microphone. At least one is going to be, you know, it, it's gonna be, uh, um, you're gonna have a lot of things to manage. So as usual. So uh, so basically a good, a good thing to do is let them interact via chat, okay? Because it doesn't interrupt you as you're talking uh, and you can respond to their questions, you know? So they can ask questions in the chat, you can respond uh, on the microphone so that everybody can hear. And it's a really great way to organize it. Okay, 
Uh, the other thing that we're going to try here is that uh, we're going to go to, um, we're going to simulate a user coming on so you can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, so if we go back, um, uh, so this here on the, on the right is an emulator for a phone. Okay, so we're going to imagine that a student uh, is, is coming onto the meeting. They're using their phone uh, because they're at home. Uh, now notice that that kind of wonky color there is uh is because the phone is is uh, is on the computer and it's uh simulating a um a a camera okay so what i'm going to do here is the join code that i had before so this is why it's so important for you to to separate out that join code from the url so students don't have to uh, find that and then t okay so there's the meeting code and i'm going to go ahead and click join meeting Okay, then, then the user, the student would have to ask to join. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and admit. So that's what's gonna happen as they come up. So hopefully this happens, <clears throat> you know, during the first few minutes of your meeting. Um, right, so that's the person there. Um, so, so as they come in, now that's kind of a wonky video because that's the, um, that is the, uh, um, you know, that's the other user. Okay, so what I can do there, if I just do, if I don't want to see these user videos as I as I come in, uh, basically what I can do is I can pin myself to the top, and that way, as users come in, no one sees that other video because because it's you know it's if you have a big class, it's forty people who who knows what you're going to see. So uh, uh, okay, so the things that I can do with a user, so this user is coming in, they're seeing me on their phone, uh, depending on what I'm sharing, right? Um, they can, uh, sorry, then, then what I can do is that I can do a couple things. So on, I, all the users will be listed here. And then I can go ahead, I can, um, I can uh, pin to screen. That means that basically they're gonna be shown on the presentation uh, uh, if they wanna share with the rest of the group. I can mute them, that's really important. So basically as they come in, to be honest with you, I would just mute every user. So I would just literally, as they come in, I would mute. <laughs> so, so that's that's my opinion. That way you can kind of unmute and control the meeting and you don't have people talking over each other. It can become very confusing for everybody if, if people are talking over each other. Okay, and then finally you can remove them from the meeting. So let's try that. Okay. All right, so uh, there we have it. Um, so uh, that is Google Meet. Uh, I hope it was useful to you. Um, and best of luck.